An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's, it's an, an idea. idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. So, critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be new to the fullest. It's no secret that the convenience of cell phones is not quite as convenient as it's cracked up to be. Tiny screen, easy to lose and break, most of the applications are annoying to put it lightly. Not only are the phones expensive, but besides the joys of 4G irradiation and potential brain cancer, the monthly bill can oftentimes be a death sentence for your checking account as well by way of the sneaky catch-22s in the terms of service contracts. If you're done suffering with your cellular woes, and you have a love of desktop computers and laptops, then the Amazon Fire HD7 tablet might be the perfect middle ground solution for you. I'm not being paid to make this video. I simply enjoy my Amazon Fire HD7 and I'd like to show you why. I got really sick of my Windows woes and Mac, though an improvement over Windows, also leaves much to be desired in both its computers and iPhone technologies. So I run Ubuntu Linux on all of my computers. Android Linux is what most non-Apple cellular phones use these days, and as cool as that is, I personally have found Android Linux to be more than just a little buggy on both cellular phones and tablets. Amazon Fire OS, though based on Android Linux, seems to be incredibly stable and for the most part works extremely well. Seeing as I am not in some podunk backwoods town someplace in nowhere Colorado or some such, and I live in the major city of Chicago, in an urban environment such as mine, there is no shortage of free Wi-Fi hotspots just about everywhere. Most major fast food chains and even many smaller restaurants have free Wi-Fi access to the public to encourage customers to eat there. We also have free Wi-Fi at most, if not all, Chicago public libraries. No matter where you are in Chicago, you're typically going to be within walking distance of a free Wi-Fi hotspot. This allows me to take full advantage of the capabilities of my Amazon Fire HD7. The Amazon Fire HD7 is more powerful than a cellular phone, with a crisp and vivid 7-inch HD widescreen display, 1.5 GHz quad-core processor, 8 GB or 16 GB of storage space, which includes unlimited cloud storage for all Amazon content and photos taken with your Fire devices, rear-facing HD camera and front-facing VGA camera, virtual surround sound with Dolby Audio, and tons of awesome, useful free applications to choose from in the Amazon Store. Seeing as this is my own personal testimony and not a commercial, I'm not going to go into all of the thousands of awesome things this badass tablet can do. 
I'm going to show you what I personally enjoy about it. Seeing as I have a 75 Mbps cable internet connection at home on a sizable home-based Linux network, and seeing as Amazon Fire OS is Linux, I'm able to connect to my 22 terabyte file server and access my files from anywhere around the house, including my favorite songs and movies. Better yet, I can also do the same thing when I'm out at a Wi-Fi hotspot using the secure SSH file transfer protocol. I can easily browse, play, and watch whatever I want. Of course, this also means I can watch Netflix and Amazon Prime movies from pretty much anywhere. One thing that is really great for me also is that it is very cheap to attach a phone number to my Skype account. My primary phone number has a ring down list and I have added that number to it. So not only can I answer incoming calls from any of my PCs and laptops, but I can also answer calls when I am on the go with my Amazon Fire HD7. Besides this, when it is a Skype to Skype call, which is free everywhere in the world, I can also video chat with my friends as well, even while having coffee at a Chicagoland restaurant. If I want to send or receive files from my friends, that's no problem either. Skype hibernates when you're not using it, so as long as I'm connected to a Wi-Fi hotspot, it will ring just like being called on a regular cellular phone, and even if the tablet itself is in hibernation mode. If you live in a rural area, you can always get yourself something such as a Cricut Wi-Fi router that your tablet can then connect to. At least with that, you can stash it under your car seat or in your briefcase instead of having it shoved up against your ear, frying your brain.